Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lina, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today we are here to do the daily draw for January 1st, 2022, and we are going to be using the Heart of Fairy Oracle Cards by Brian and Wendy Froud. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click on the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. I do all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly tarot scopes. On Sundays, we have Conjure Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. Every day, I do a card of the day reveal. On Wednesdays, we have the virtual book club. We are currently reading the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. It has been so much fun following Richard and Kaylin on their adventures, so you are definitely going to want to join us for that. I also pop on from time to time and do free readings, so make sure you get my notifications by clicking that little bell. All right, I feel that I have rambled on long enough. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And, our card for today is... The Child. This is about pure joy, sense of wonder, without judgment. Look at this fairy child. She embodies pure delight, pure joy of being alive to the world around her. Children spend time in the realm of fairy without realizing that it's a separate reality, and for them perhaps it isn't. My daughter Taylor used to see fairies all the time. We just took it for granted that she could and encouraged the interaction. A lot has been written about getting in touch with your inner child, but it isn't always as easy as it seems. To experience something without judgment is almost impossible for an adult. We have too much to compare it with, but we must try to do just that. When you pick the child, take a few minutes and really look at it. Look at the creature in the background as well. That creature is looking at the little spark of light, just like the fairy child is. They share that experience. The spark is reflected in their eyes and echoed in the lights at the tips of the child's wings. In the distance, you can see another little light. Is it getting closer or leading you further in? What happens if you follow it? The child can fly. Imagine flying with her. Follow the light and see where it leads you. Try to imagine seeing the situation you are in as a child would see it. Don't analyze, just observe and see what happens. I hope that this interpretation has helped you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the day. Keep it in mind throughout your daily activities, then before you go to bed this evening, journal about how it was pertinent to your day. Also, feel free to comment below if you would like, I would love to hear from you. If you do feel that it has helped you, and that it will help someone else, please feel free to share this video. Sharing is caring. And if you would like a more in-depth and personal reading, you can go to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top of the page that says, Book a Reading. I hope you all have a very beautiful and amazing day. Love you bunches. Shalom.